Hey everybody, welcome to day four of my December daily. So, journaling done here, journaling done on the tag, just dated it and talked a little bit about it. Love how that turned out. I think this, I love this page. So, here's my little twinkle. Here is the page for next day four that we're gonna need to do now. Um, obviously here, I now have this piece of paper and we discovered that this is actually a little bit bigger than six by eight. So what I'm thinking I want to do is cover the back of this with paper. Oh, I should probably show you my photograph here, right? So there's my photograph. It's um, a picture of a house that Santa is in and the kids can go sit and talk to him and give them their Christmas wishes in my hometown. This is a different house and it's located in a different spot from where it was when I was a kid, but this holds huge memories. Like I can feel like what it felt like, the warmth of that to be standing there and like kind of the smell of the wet snow as you were kind of in the doorway. Um, I can remember being really nervous and then also what it felt like to go sit on Santa's lap. And then when you left, um, a lot of times Santa was the only person in there with, you know, other people and parents, but like they didn't necessarily have an elf there, but you know, guys, this was a 60s, so I'm, I'm old. Um, anyway, there was a little bowl or basket or something where you could take a candy cane. So then the taste of that candy cane on my tongue and, um, I was the oldest. So my sister often would go after me just cause she was a little more scared than I was. So just remembering all of that, seeing this, and that's one of the things right now I live in my hometown. It's probably... I'll be here for probably about another year and a half or so. And so I like driving around and seeing these little memories. And that's kind of what I want to talk about here. So this is not double-sided, so I don't need to worry about that. I want to kind of look, I'm thinking too much red. This is kind of cute, but I think it's too busy. And that's like a snow pattern. This was a really great day, so I don't think we want to do gray. I think there's two, ooh, this could be kind of cute. I like this one. I think this is what we're gonna do. And I could pull 12 by 12 papers and do this too. I'm okay with that. I don't, you know, mind that at all. Um, I could, and the more I'm looking at that, the less I like it. Uh, then the other thing I'm thinking is, could I find a paper that I could write right on it. That's going to be kind of white though, but I also could line it in another paper too. I don't love that. Let's see. I think I should follow my own advice, which is when you find it, just use it. But now you know, I'm thinking about other things. So, because I could do something like that. I'm not in love with that um, blue behind there. I think if that was green, I might feel a little bit differently about that. I'm going to see if I have any green lined L Studio paper in my little 12 by 12 paper bundle here. Um, does not look like I do though. I think I've used up whatever. I was gonna say I do have red. I still think that's too much white. Let's go back to my original idea here. So that's too much white. And then what I'm going to do because this is actually bigger than the photograph. I'm just gonna put this on here and it's the paper that I have to cut. So that'll be easy. Well, easy. <laughs> 
easier maybe. Now I also have to think about what I'm going to use to journal here and I certainly have lots of cards. Um, I think I'm going to have a lot of journaling, right? And maybe, maybe that's where I bring that paper back in, which I think I put away. I did. Let me grab that again. So I have my paper in a 12 by 12 um, copper hopper paper envelope. And then um, I just keep those on the shelves of my calyx um, unit in my scrapbook room. Oh, okay guys. Oh, I just found what I really wanna use. Do you see this card that says North Pole and it's red line? So that's cute because, I mean, it's not just a page specifically about this particular house, but it is Santa driven very obviously. And I lost this. I think this today is the last day I'm going to be scrapbooking in my little temporary space. I think tomorrow I'll be back in my regular scrapbook room. So that will be good. Okay. And now I'm looking at this. Oh, cute. Okay, we can do it like this. But the question is now, since do I really want to use this full 8x8 sheet or do I want to do something else in green? And I think green is the color here that I want to use. I have two um, other greens here that I'm going to, oh, and I glued it down. I think maybe I could unglue it if I wanted to. Now my question is, is it worth pulling this off? Or do I just deal with it and say, it is what it is? Um, yeah, I think it needs to sit like this. Now the other thing I could do to get a little more green around here is this a little bit although I like the way this goes like this uh, my other thing is maybe I put a little red around that I've got you guys can't see this side but now I have a crazy mess of papers over to my right hand here which is fine I'm thinking you know and I have all these papers so I could could, and the reason I'm thinking red, just to give that a little contrast, it's not my favorite. Okay, I have, ooh, just thought of something. I, in my papers, have some other red paper. Okay, so I don't think... I can do it with this lily bee because I think that's a little too creamy. And that, oh, this is lily bee too. Although you notice it a little bit less, and this is a little bit creamy. But let's see. And those are things that I found like languishing in an envelope, and I thought this is ridiculous. Let's get them out and get them used. I think this might be the best solution here. So this is um, some photo play paper from last year, and um, I really didn't use it, which is sad, but it was really dark. And the reason I'm thinking about that, there's also a green plaid too, but I think the, I think the red, the plain red plaid will be good. So I made a little note on the back of this about stuff that I wanted to talk about here. And I should be watching this to make sure that, yeah, I'm going to put a very light border on this, or very light, very thin border on this. Sorry guys, if they're shaking. Like I said, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going back to my regular scrapbook room. 
Oh my gosh, and this is so funny. I have like three different size borders on this. I'll be right, right there. The nice thing about having this, um, I have a Caterpillar Pro Platform Trimmer, and um, I can really cut narrow pieces off because I had, that was crazy. Okay. Those of you who know me, know me. I struggle with my ATG, and I was just struggling with my ATG. Now, I also could do this. Let's see. Bring that up a little bit. More like it that way. I don't really want it to stick down. No, I think I like it the other way, where it's just... There we go. I didn't... I. It felt like if I just left the green paper on the bottom there that I was just trapping space so in the end I'm not really seeing very much of this Christmas tree paper but that's okay I have plenty of paper guys okay and I'm just gonna check I do need to cut a little bit off of that side there okay and obviously I'm not gonna write the story and the whole memories thing out here for you because I think that's too much but uh, I'm just thinking I want to embellish this obviously and I do like this little joy found here sticker so that's a thought but I want to get something down in here as well Joy. So this says Joy found here um, in 2016, 20, let me think, yes, 2016, my word of the year was Joy, and I still connect to that word a lot. Feels like it's fighting this. Oh, and there's another one with joy there too. That's cute. See, I want some green on here, but I'm not finding the right thing. Could do a tree, because there's some trees on there. Could do two trees. Okay, I think that's the that's the solution actually there we go okay I like that so that's all embellished ooh and I need a number don't I um I think we're gonna go with green just because that feels like that is a good color and this is day four yes <laughs> I have to check sometimes uh, and I think this is nice this is a little Let's bring that green up so that it's going diagonally across the page here. I'll just put it up here in the sky. Plus this is kind of a gray photo. So now we've got the green here and the red. So, all right guys, I have some journaling to do. I will see you tomorrow. Oh, I did it, didn't I? It's day four, not day three. Ah! You all saw that and knew that, didn't you? <laughs> Oh my goodness, let's try day four. And it's only day four. I'm gonna have like 31 or two days or something like that to do this. This is crazy. I have had to go back and take numbers off and put other ones on before. Okay, let's try that again. It's day four. Okay, green going across. Anyway, I will be back tomorrow, guys. Bye.